Hi, welcome back. In this lesson, we'll be learning how to create an application, Discord application, how to add the bot, how to create the server. So to do that, we need to go to discord.com. This is a website where we can create the Discord applications. So before creating a Discord application, we need to register. So I'm clicking login here. So if you have account, you can straight away login into the discord.com. If not, go here, register, create an account, give the basic information like email, username, password. Once you could able to create your Discord account, then go back and log in into your Discord account. So once you log in into your Discord account, the GUI would appear in this way. This is uh, what you can see once you log in. But we need to go to the developer portal of Discord to create an application. For that, what we need to do, discord.com developers backslash applications. So this is known as developer portal. So here you can create the new applications. Once you go to this URL, you'll be able to see the UI like this. Here at the top right, there is an option to create a new application. Now I'm creating a new application. This is same as creating a Discord application. Now I will, I will be giving a name for this. I will be using a Discord bot using Node. So this is the application name I'm using. With Discord application, we can do a number of things, but in this course, we'll be seeing how the, to add the bot and how the bot functionality works. So I'm giving a cre I created an application with the name Discord bot using Node and click the create button. So once you click the create, you'll be created an uh, application for you. You can modify the app icon if needed. You can modify the description. So these are the application ID, public key. So most of you may not use them, but uh, we'll show you how to add the bot. So we have completed how to create an application now. So we'll show you how to add the bot. At the left top, there is a hamburger icon. If I click that, we'll be getting a uh, left navigation like this. So here you need to go to the third tab, bot. I'm clicking at this bot. If you click this bot, we'll be getting an icon like this, add a bot. So now we are adding the bot to the application. So he, it, it will say that add a bot to this app. Yes, do it. So we are trying to add the bot to the application. Fine, we have created application. We could able to add our bot to the application. So how to communicate to this bot from the code? We need to have some access token to communicate with this bot from the code. So that access token is a token we are talking about now. So this is a token. So let me uh, copy this. So once you can copy copy this, it, it is copied. You can uh, use that. So let me click to reveal. So here, this is the access token we have to access our bot. This should be very much private. No one should know this bot access token. If this compromises, this token compromises, they can do uh, malfunctions with this, our bot as well. So once you copy this, you need to keep this uh, carefully. As this is a training video, I am showing you this, but in general, you should not show this. And uh, now also I will be regenerated this. So once you feel that it, your token was compromised, anyway, you will be having an option called regenerate. Once you feel the token was compromised, just come here to this uh, developer applications and go to bot and just click the regenerate button. So once you regenerate this, the new token would be appearing here. The old token won't work. So in that way, you can, uh, if the token was compromised, you can regenerate the token and you need to replace this token wherever you are using. So let me show you, I'm copying this token. So how and where you can use this token. So I will coming, I'm coming back to the replica. So as this is a secret token, we need to store this token at somewhere else. We can't directly use that in the code editor directly by copy pasting like that. So for that, Reflect is providing us in the left side, there are option called secrets, environment variables. So here we can store our secret key. So I'm storing like this, like bot underscore token. Because this is a bot token, I have copied the bot access token here. The value should be the bot access token. The key is bot token. With this key, we can access this value. So just I'm uh, clicking add new secret. So now it would be added. Our uh, access token of the bot was added. In order to 
access this access token you need to use this bot token once you access this bot token you can get that token so straight away we can we should not use the access tokens in the code uh, i will show you how to access that access token in the code in the later point so once you have created the application and once you add the bot to your application the third part is we need to create the server how to create the server once you log in you will be able to drive into here you will be redirected to this discord.com channels at the rate me it means this is your account you are here to create and service server you you need to go here add a server why we need to have a server we need to have a server to load all the members i mean there should be something to hold all the teammates or all the members people somewhere and we need to add our bot to the server to communicate each other we need to have the servers so that's the reason i am creating one server here i have created add click plus symbol add server we need to create a server i am clicking create my own you will be having two options i am clicking for me and my friends so give a name to the server i am giving it as a discord bot server so now i am clicking just click here create so now dbs discord bot server was created this is a server will be working so if you observe only one user suresh is logged in here so in the next session we'll be seeing how the bot should come here bot should also come here to communicate with other teammates right so we'll see that in the next session